So here we have the thoracoabdominal wall muscles, the thoracic muscles, and we'll start with the external intercostals. So number 20 here, if we look, the fiber direction will be that of, similar to the external abdominal obliques. When we look, we'll see that. And here the origin is the inferior border a rib above. So the first with sivir is a good example. The first rib here. They'll originate here and then insert on the superior border of rib below. So here if we look at the rib below, here's the superior border. That's where we'll insert. These are responsible for elevating the rib cage. So this is why we see that rib cage elevate during inhalation. This is what causes inhal inhalation. The next muscle we'll see is the internal intercostals in here. Fiber direction will be similar as to the internal abdominal obliques going downward fanning outward toward the lateral part of the body. And here if we look the origin of these muscles are the superior rib of border above. So you would have to imagine that behind here is where the origin is and then it would actually insert on the inferior border of rib above so it would be going up so originating here and going up these ones are responsible for depressing the rib cage so pulling down causing a compression of exhalation and breathing outward okay our last muscle of the three inside our dummy here will be the diaphragm this region here its origin is going to be on the internal surface of the ribs so inside this model here is where they would originate all in this area here also you'll see it on the sternum so the inside of all this here would originate on and then also on the costal cartilages in between the ribs. It doesn't really di diagram it very well. And also on the lumbar vertebrae, so on the back of the dummy, it wraps all the way around the thoracic abdominal region. This uh, also inserts on itself, the central tendon of the diaphragm. So it'll be there in the middle. And action here, it's going to increase the vertical dimension of thoracic cavity and is responsible for inhalation as well.